Hi, my name is Barry Chapman. I'm a technical support engineer for IFM UK. Today I'd like to talk to you about measuring the symmetry of an ASI network. This is a useful procedure to fault find errors within a failed network. By the determining the effects of the fault on the network symmetry, we'll point you towards a solution to get the network back to a healthy state. Let us look at how to measure the network symmetry. A good symmetry is the key to a healthy ASI network. In order to read the symmetry, you need to make sure the functional earth is connected to the shield of the ASI power supply. For dual masters, the shield from both power supplies can be grouped together. To measure the symmetry, you will need a digital voltmeter set to the DC voltage range. If you measure between ASI plus and ASI minus, you should read around 30 volts DC. Next, put the negative probe onto the shield of the PSU and measure between ASI plus and ASI minus. The result should read between plus 15 volts DC and minus 15 volts DC, though a slight swing in either direction of up to 1.5 volts DC is fine. The symmetry can also be checked via the AC14's diagnostic functions. We will now simulate some voltage faults. First, we will ground the ASI minus to ground. This will swing the symmetry to the positive side of the supply. This can be seen on both the voltmeter and the controller's display. Next, we will ground the ASI plus to ground. As can be seen, the voltage swing has swung to the negative side. The earth fault indicator has come on on the diagnostics display for both instances. Most symmetry issues result in an earth fault. If you have determined the nerve fault is present on your network, you should check the network wiring for damage or signs of ingress and replace where necessary. If you have an intermittent fault, then check if you have any unshielded EMC devices like variable speed drives. These devices are active. When the fault is present, you will need to shield the ASI network and reroute the network to be clear of the interference. If you have any further questions, please call us on 0208 213-2233 or email us at technical.gb at ifm.com. For countries outside of the UK, please go to www.ifm.com and select your local country. There you will find the contact details for your local IFM branch who will be able to help you further. Thank you for your time.